Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky called on war leaders at the U.N. General Assembly yesterday to unite against Russian aggression. He warned Moscow is, quote, pushing the world to the final war and that terrorists have no right to hold nuclear weapons. Russia is weaponizing nuclear energy. Not only it is, not only it is spreading its unreliable nuclear power plant construction technologies, but it is also turning other countries' power plants into real dirty bombs. For more on this, we're joined by CBS News foreign correspondent Imtiaz Tayeb. So, Imtiaz, what has been the reaction uh, in uh, Ukraine to Zelensky's speech, and what's next on his agenda? Vlad and Marie, good to be with you. Well, Vladimir Zelensky, I think, very clearly articulated the feeling that so many Ukrainians here in the country have 19 months into Russia's unprovoked invasion, which was simply this. Here's this country which invaded their country and in the words of Vladimir Zelensky has weaponized everything from energy to world food supplies to Ukraine's own children. Now, he also had a warning, that warning, as you said, of that final war when Ukrainians look at what's happening around the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant, which is to the south of the country. And when you consider the fact that it is occupied by Russia, there's lots of missile attack activity around there, drone activity around there. The plants have had, or the, the reactors have had to be powered down. This is a very real threat. In fact, we were at a nuclear power plant uh, for a story that we hope to be airing very soon in Rivne, where they are now have their own own nuclear fuel, which they used to get from Russia in order to sever that reliance. And it really just underscores just this fear that this country has about the nuclear threat, while at the same time facing incredible violence every single day, which is claiming the lives of Ukrainians every single day. Vlad, Emery. Well, speaking of the energy need, Russia has struck an oil refinery in Ukraine in an overnight drone attack. What can you tell us about that? Yeah, just another reminder that, as Vladimir Zelensky said, everything has been weaponized here, including energy. And this this oil refinery has been attacked repeatedly. And imagine if a strike is so big that this refinery could essentially um, ignite and cause something incredibly serious. And again, we've seen this time and again. You know, it is a beautiful autumn day here in Ukraine, but the weather is starting to turn. Winter will be coming. And as we know, winter is very cold in this country. And you'll remember last winter, again and again, Russia was targeting the energy grid here in Ukraine. The fear is that's going to happen here again. And as we've been seeing overnight, that Russia is still targeting energy supplies in this country. Emery, Vlad. Uh, so this comes amid recent airstrikes in the western city of Lviv. Uh, what's the latest there, MTS? Yeah, so we're probably about uh, 45 minutes from Lviv. Lviv is a historic city. It is a beautiful city. It is a picturesque city. It is in the very far west on the border with Poland. It was a real safe passage. You'll remember 19 years or 19 months ago when this war first started as uh, Ukrainians fleeing violence, mainly women and children, would exit from Lviv. And it's been largely spared the kind of violence we see in the east of the country and even in the capital, Kyiv. And yet, over the last few days, we've seen repeated attacks in and around Lviv and it really just underscores the sentiment that most Ukrainians have and which was echoed so profoundly I think by Volodymyr Zelensky that this war has touched every Ukrainian in every corner of this country. And very quickly, I should add that uh, Vladimir Zelensky today will be attending a meeting of the UN Security Council, that 15 member body who will also be there, Sergei Lavrov, who's the Russian foreign minister. And we can expect uh, some pretty sharp words being treated, traded between these two, uh, as this is the first time they're facing each other since the start of this invasion. It, it ought to be an interesting conversation. MTS, thank you.